Kevin says, hey guys, would meta tagged or meta geotag in head section of page work as well as Jason? No, Kevin, it doesn't. Um, used to, I used to do that years ago before there was even a JSON LD markup, uh, before there was really structured data, um, or at least before it was uh, you know accepted by Google. And I used to do this exact same thing that you're pointing out here. There used to be a plugin that did that for a while, but the plugin stopped working, so I just copied the code out of one of them, and then I would just edit it and put it in each site. But this does not work as good as because it's not true structured data. It won't validate. So um, schema is better. So any any schema.org markup is going to be better, which you can do with JSON LD or you, in the header, which is a script, or you could do it as uh, like microdata markup on a on a page like which is essentially like HTML on a page. I recommend doing it in the header if you can, unless you have page specific markup that you need. And that in which case you can use microdata. Uh, my JSON already has local business schema, so I don't think I should add a second local business schema, hence hoping that a header meta geotags will help. Why would you have two location metadata? Um, I don't know why you'd have two location infos on one page anyways, Kevin. Let's see. Location relevancy for the specific city page. Yeah, okay. If that's the case, then you want to override. So if you're using the same site, the same domain, and you've got multiple locations, then you... What you want to do is you only want to add the JSON LD markup in the lo on the for for each location on each location page. You don't want to do a site wide um, local business markup because it doesn't make sense to do so if you've got other location pages. However, there are plugins like Project Supremacy is one of them that you can use uh, that you can put like if you have like one main corporate office or whatever one main office and so the, the majority of the site is based around that one office but then you have some other locations and they just have a specific page on the site you can use the the local business markup across the entire site so it goes in the header across the entire site but then you can override that on specific lo location pages and inject the lo location specific JSON LD markup you do not want to duplicate and have two locations that that'll kill it That'll, that will confuse Google and it won't you'll you'll hurt your rankings. You won't improve anything. So you could do that on a look on a page specific basis using like Project Supremacy has that function built right into it. Or you can use and I I, I know I what was the plugin I told you guys about this um, OH add scripts to header OH add scripts to header I think is what it's called plugin. Yeah, that's it. OH add scripts to individual pages, header, footer, plugin. This is a free plugin that you can use to do the same thing. If you're going to do this, I would just recommend that you only add, you inject the uh, JSON LD markup specific to each location on each location page. And if you have, like, uh, again, just remove it from the entire site header. You can remove the local business NAP in, from the site header and then just put it on the individual location pages, and that's still perfectly fine. If you actually go read Google Developers Help Files on local business markup, they don't, they, they don't require it across the entire site, guys. They only say that it should be on the Contact Us page, Location page, and uh, an About Us page. That's the only place it needs to be. It doesn't need to be site-wide. Okay? So... Um, if you like, I said, just use this. This plugin's free. If you have Project Supremacy, it makes a lot of this stuff easier because it's just got like a lot of cool f features. If uh, if you don't have that, pick it up. I don't know if they closed it or not, but if they still have that open, I'd pick that up, Kevin. It's going to make your job easier. Um, let's see. Don't it, don't duplicate. Do not put two locations and um, markups on the same page. Okay, that'll hurt your rankings. Don't do that. I also have one image on the page geotagged, but I'm thinking of adding the meta geotag to further help location re relevancy without adding a second local business to JSON. Again, don't don't mix it, guys. Just you know, stick with each page should be focused around one location, and that's it. Unless you have, if you have a locations page where you list multiple locations, that's fine, but each one of those should have a URL that links over to its own individual page. You can have multiple, and there's an organization markup for that, by the way. Um, schema.org, excuse me, organization markup, something like that. Right here. If you go take a look at this, if you have an organization markup, then you can actually have multiple locations right here. Location. 
um, or uh, and that might not be it, but there's it's it's organization. There's parent organization, sub organization. There's also locations. I'd have to go through here. I've got code already co uh, coded out for this that I could share. Um, I'd have to dig it up though, so you'd have to wait till after the the webinar. But you can put the a location page on your site, and the 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 top of the script is going to be or the 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 geodag the or the excuse me the structured data. The object type is going to be organization, and then there's going to be the individual locations, which each will have their own NAP listed on the same page, and it's all marked up properly that way. But then what I do is always put a link over to that specific location page, on which, in which case on that specific location page for each location, it's going to have its own NAP and local business markup instead of organization markup. Okay, so that's another way that you could do it. And uh, like I said, if I remember after the webinar, I'll find that and I'll post uh, an example um, on this page here for you to model if you'd like. Okay, uh, last thing is just put in the specific pages head section via the WordPress plugin you mentioned a week or two ago. Yeah, if you're using that, I think the plugin you're talking about here is the Project Supremacy plugin, and it does again, you don't want to add, the, first of all, this is pretty much useless. Second of all, you don't want to add additional markup to a location page if it's already in the header. So you want to override the markup that's in the header with the location page. Uh, location data specific to that page. Hopefully that makes sense, Kevin. Uh, 